Welcome back. This is Seth Green here. Super excited for our second interview with the incredible Ted Thomas, America's Tax Lien Certificate and Tax Deed Authority. Uh, Ted was blowing our minds in interview number one, making us aware of something that most of us probably didn't even know was possible. So just as a quick short recap before we dive in, can you review for our folks what a tax lien certificate is? Okay, folks, nationwide, all of the state legislatures have done the same thing. They have one rule, and the rule is this. All property owners must pay property tax. Now, that includes those big buildings downtown. It includes the farmers. It includes the industrial property. But most of all, it includes all the single-family homes. So if you don't pay tax in half of the states, in the 1,500 of the counties, in those 1,500 counties, they're going to issue a tax lien certificate, which simply means that the government is making a claim against the property. All right, now, when they make that claim, if you don't pay it or the property owner doesn't pay it, well, depending on what state it is, like Florida, if I buy one of those tax liens and pay your taxes in Florida, I could earn all the way up to 18% on that. If I did it in Illinois, I could earn all the way up to 24% on that tax certificate. If I did it in Arizona, I could make 16. So there's different states and different laws, but if the people don't pay their tax, the local government will have a claim against the property. The claim turns into a tax lien certificate. What does the county do? They auction them off. Anybody can buy them. In Florida, where I'm sitting right now, they will have 1 million tax lien certificates this year. In a place like Chicago, Illinois, I've gone to the auction there where it took 35 days prior to doing this online. 35 days to sell all the tax lien certificates. That's how many people didn't pay their tax on time. 35 days is a long auction. I don't know if anyone would sit there for all 35 days. Exactly. The fact that millions of people don't pay their property tax is absolutely incredible. Ted, we got a bunch of questions emailed in after our last interview. A lot of folks wanted to know why haven't their financial advisor, investment advisor, stockbroker, wealth manager, financial planner told them about this? Well, listen, the brokers, the financial planners, and the attorneys, they're not bad people, okay? Here's the challenge. In our country, what we work on if we can, we'd like to have, instead of having uh, employees, what we'd like, we'd like everybody to be a, on a commission. Well, a, attorneys on a commission, financial planners get a commission on whatever they sell. All right, so now tax lien certificates, there's no commissions, okay? The only people that can buy tax lien certificates, you can't buy them and mark them up. What you can do is you can buy them, but you have to go directly to the county. So the government says, look, we're not paying commissions, so we want this for the little guy. Anybody that wants to buy them, you can do all of this online. Matter of fact, when I started, we had to drive to all the different counties and do this. Now we can do this 100%, I can say now, 100% online. So you can sit, we can teach you, sit at your kitchen table, and we'll teach you at your kitchen table. Not only teach you, but you can buy tax lien certificates and tax defaulted property. Most of our audience is in the United States, but hypothetically, could someone outside the country buy one of these? Oh, listen, we have huge audience in Canada. I have clients in uh, Singapore. I have in the United Kingdom. I have Mexico City, uh, the UK, wherever. Matter of fact, let me just show you an example right now of someone from the, from the country of Canada. We have a lot of people from the provinces of Canada that want to buy in the States. Now, why do they want to buy in the States? Because our tax laws are so much better. By that, I mean, our tax law says, if you buy a tax defaulted property, and you sell it, you get to keep all the property. Well, in Canada, they don't have the same system. So people want to come here. So I'm going to show you an example of someone from the Canadian province that called me and said, can I buy anywhere I want in the United States? Can you teach me to do it? I taught him to buy. He wanted to start in, of all places, Riverside, California. Now, Riverside, California is right below Los Angeles. I'm going to put it up on a map. So while I'm talking, you'll see the map. All right. So Riverside County they sell properties, tax defaulted property. So he bought a residential lot. All right, now we teach people, buy it, buy it low, and then sell it low. Now I know you don't wanna sell it low, you wanna make a lot of profit. Buy it low, sell it low, but get that profit. Why do you want that margin? Because you want cash flow. You wanna stay in business? You think about cash flow every minute. Matter of fact, you sleep on cash flow, otherwise you don't sleep. You've gotta have cash flow without cash flow. All right, so he bought the property, quickly sold it. I'm going to show you a video. Watch this. My name is Kelly Osmack and I'm from Regina, Saskatchewan. I'm a Ted Thomas student. I had purchased a, a lot in Riverside County at Riverside. 
Uh, I purchased it for 35000 and uh, after I got my title, I listed it. It was listed for a month, and I got a full cash offer of $55,000 US. After that deal, I went to the uh, Kitsap County in Washington and purchased a five-acre parcel um, in uh, Kingston, and I paid $131,000 for that property. Uh, it's, it was a, had a 1,300 square foot uh, manufactured home and a barn on the property. Really nice property. I had it listed at 280, and I received the full price offer in four days. Surprisingly, he doesn't want to stop doing it. And here's another video. I went back to Riverside because it's a great place. I love Riverside for whatever reason. In May, I bought another property. It's another. It's in Desert Hot Springs. It's uh, another five-acre parcel. It's it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. It's I I bought this property wow. for one hundred and seventy-seven thousand dollars. Five acres of land I, on Zillow. They had it listed in in two thousand and eleven for seven hundred and ninety-eight thousand dollars. There's this house. There's there's a another nine hundred square foot nanny mother-in-law house. There's outbuildings. It's a beautiful property. I had a realtor go look at it, and he said, "Yeah, it's it's in like from the exterior. It's in looks like it's in decent shape. Depending what the inside is, he said it could range." For anywhere from you know 500 to 800, I'll probably clear 100,000 US on that deal. Never. I've never left my basement office ever. <laughs> Folks, he made over 150 thousand dollars on that property. You saw it was him telling you that. Think about the business that you could be in. You could do that anywhere in the United States, and he was doing it all from Canada. That's absolutely incredible. So if anyone can do this from anywhere. How come the big, how come like KKR or BlackRock or the hedge funds, how come they don't have full departments of people just buying up every piece of inventory in every county and making a giant fund out of all this? Okay, well, there are competitors, okay? All right, now just what he said, all those hedge funds and so on are talking about, all right, this is a hands-on business. Why is it hands-on? Because someone's got to go out and look at every one of these properties, decide what the value is going to be on that property and decide what to sell it for. All right, when it comes to fixing up property, they're not going to do too good at that. Now, some of those funds will do okay buying single family homes. Uh, during a big recession, they would buy those homes, but then you get a whole group of carpenters who are out of work and they go in there and fix them. All right, well, you're not going to do that. This is an individual thing. All right, each auction will sell anywhere from 100 to 200. And in Los Angeles, they may sell up to 1,000 properties at a time. All right, so this is individually done and you have to learn how to do it. All right, but the hedge funds will come along and they'll buy tax lien certificates. Matter of fact, I was bidding in West Palm Beach. Now, West Palm Beach is probably the wealth, the second wealthiest county in the United States if you go right behind Miami-Dade or something like that. All right, so the point is, they were actually buying property they didn't know what they're doing. They were buying property that was underwater. Now, I don't mean, I don't mean mythically underwater. I mean under Lake Okeechobee. <laughs> what are you going to do with that one? Because they had lines on the map, and they sold... And so they don't know what they're doing. So they get out of the business very quickly or they go bankrupt. They're, you're not going to find a lot of hedge funds. You will find hedge funds trying to buy tax lien certificates. And what they'll do, and I'm going to show you right now, I'm just going to stop for a second. Okay, this is a this is a list of tax lien certificates. Okay, I'm going to take it out and show you, take it apart. Okay, first I'll show you the cover so you see it. This is a tax lien certificate from Duval County. This is Duval County in Jacksonville, Florida. All right, now I'm taking it apart. There is thousands of tax leads to do it. There's no pictures in this newspaper, okay? There's going to be 30,000 certificates that I'm holding up right now. 30,000 certificates. That's one county. So a hedge fund could come along and say, we're going to buy everything on that page. Well, do you think everything on that page is worthwhile? No, you've got to go look at them. What if they were underwater? You don't want that. What if it was a property that burned down? What if there's a flood? Or if there's a hurricane, it blew it away. The tax collector just has tax collections. They don't go out and look at every one of those properties. All right, so 
so that we do. And that's what we do. Ted, thank you so much. This has been an incredible amount of knowledge that you have dropped in these uh, short interviews. Folks, we are just scratching the tip of the iceberg here. If you want to learn more, if you want to learn how to do this and put this to work in is a extra stream of, of revenue. Um, you know, the average multimillionaire has at least seven streams of revenue. This would be a great addition to your portfolio. Um, not that much work for a lot of return. Um, I will be doing this myself. I got I went to the tax auction back before COVID. I didn't bring enough cash um, and I didn't bring enough money orders because I didn't know how much the premiums were going to, how much it was going to be. I learned my lesson. Now I'll be doing it online because now I can even swipe with my credit card. I don't even have to go in person. I'm super excited to take advantage of this. Click the link below, get access to Ted's deep dive training where we'll spend, I think it's almost most of a day going through this. Ted, thank you so much. All right, so we'll look forward to seeing you guys very soon.